Hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. I've got a new product on my bench which I need to do a little video of. It's the Generation 2 of our standard 424 chassis. We do two, we do a standard and a pro version. And uh, this is the latest generation of the standard version, which is definitely an improvement on the first version. So, let me go over it for those who've never seen a video of it before. It's got 24 hot swap caddies. Each of the caddies, as you'll be able to see here, have got a blue power light, and you'll see a little green flickering light in a second. Well, hopefully. There you go. And that's when your drive has activity. So, the drives themselves can take, uh, the drive tray, should I say, can take both 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drives. If you're using a 2.5 inch, you don't need any converter, etc. They just uh, go straight in. And you can use SATA, SAS, uh, or SSD drives. So the changes from the original version is we now get USB 3 at the front, a new style of caddy which does look really attractive, A new silver front end, which also has this lock in front cover, which goes on there. We've got three internal 120mm fans. These are hot swap, so you can pour them in and out, and they connect to a little daughter board, which is powered by a single 4-pin Molex. Changes to the back plane. Still single back planes per four drives with your mini SAS port. But this is now sideways on. Which is a good thing because it stops your cable from bending and it's far neater. I do like the single piece back planes because if you have a faulty one it's very easy to remove and replace but it also has a gap between each one which is good for airflow the fan board is one piece which goes from the bottom to the top and that uh, helps um, without any gaps in it etc to expel the warm heat that may build up here. Included in the box of bits there's a little um, gadget to remove the screws here for the back plane in case you do get a faulty one. That's very rare anyway. Internally a nice new feature is this little board here on which you can fit a three and a half inch or two and a half inch two times two and a half inch drives ideal for your operating system and as before it will take anything up to extended ATX motherboards you've got four height expansion slots and as well as the three 120mm fans 
you've got the two rear 80mm fans. Now this is really um, aimed at your home user, your three NAS type customer who wants to get a nice big storage box but doesn't want to spend fortunes on their chassis. It will take a standard ATX power supply which obviously is a lot cheaper than a server type but it will also take two U single and redundant power supplies. It comes with a set of rack mount, rack mount rails included in the price and at 279 excluding uh, any taxes it's you know it's a very low cost good solution the back planes i should mention are powered by a single four pin molex so you need to make sure your power supply has got uh, four molexes or you need some splitters So I've just connected this up very quickly because I've only just come in. So I'm going to go through a couple of perhaps negatives, um, which you're going to get on a chassis this cost. Uh, the one thing is the stock 120mm fans it comes with from China aren't particularly fantastic. They do a good job of flowing air through but as you can hear they're a little bit noisy. If noise isn't a problem then they're fine. Um, but I've for instance just installed a lower noise fan here which if I just connect the two rear 80 mils you can see that it's very quiet and it's still giving plenty of airflow. And there are plenty of standard 120mm fans in the UK market or European market that you can use. Get the 4 pin type because then it fits into this little house in here properly. The other negative, um, it's a value chassis. Um, it does exactly what you want it to do if you're running 3 NAS or something like that, ZFS. Uh, we also do a pro version and I'm often asked um, which is better. Well obviously the pro is more expensive so I'm going to say it's better. But it is better for a number of reasons. Firstly it supports SGPIO. So for instance in a RAID card if you wanted to locate a particular drive um, you would be able to for instance or even in a HBA card highlight the drive that I've got in there at the moment and ask it to locate it and on the pro version it would locate and flicker away on the drive that you wanted. Now that's not a real big issue because you could simply just number your drives in 3 NAS or something, just name it drive 0, drive 1, drive 2, up to you know 0 to 23. So it's not you know a, a deal killer so to speak but um, you have got that advantage with the pro version. The pro version also has a better fan layout um, it's controlled by the motherboard BIOS as opposed to this one's just running from a 4-pin Molex. And although the build quality of this has improved over previous generations and for the money it really is good value, it's not as well built as the Pro version. So there you go, there is a price difference, about a hundred odd pounds between the standard Gen 2 and the Pro. So if it's 
for a home use then this is perfectly adequate and a really nice system. If it's a business solution and you're putting it in a hosting house I would still definitely recommend the Pro. So this is just the first little video I'm going to do on the Gen 2 424 standard. I'll try to do a more detailed one when I get a little more time. Thanks for listening.